Hello everyone, this is Stephen from Ballyalbany and Glennon Presbyterian Churches. We have a busy week ahead of us and we'd love you to join in. This Sunday, the 14th of June, would have been our annual Children's Day service in Ballyalbany and Glennon would have been at a later date. But due to the restrictions, we've decided let's take it online. So we're excited to announce that you're welcome to join us at 12 noon this Sunday to watch all the things our young people and children have been getting up to. They're singing, they're praying, they're reading and they're sharing. So please do uh, plan to join us that day. And this is a gentle reminder to mums and dads and granddads and grandmums that we would love to have all the material that the boys and girls would like to send in. So please do send them in as soon as possible that we may include it and edit it into our service. Tomorrow will be Wednesday and that means Wednesday in the Word. We're now in our 12th week of this devotional study as we diagnose our own spiritual health and we turn to the doctor, the Lord Jesus, who gives us all that we need that we may have vitality and growth within our Christian lives. So please do plan to set some aside uh, a time to do that, to grab a Bible and to spend that time seeking the Lord and encouraging your soul. This Thursday we're going to have another Zoom prayer time and if you'd like to join in on that Zoom prayer time from 8.30 please do contact me and we will give you the meeting ID that you may log on. It's a simple format. We're using the unprecedented material by our denomination. It gives us a question to consider, a passage to read and then that leads us into our prayer time. Our format is very simple. We come on, we have a little bit of a chat, making sure all the technology works. I read a passage of scripture. We then spend just two minutes quick fire Thanksgiving prayers as a big group. And once we do that, we then consider and talk a few through prayer points that we want to pray over. Then we have breakaway rooms for 10 minutes and then we come back and then we log off. So if you'd like to join in on that, please do. Uh, send us a message and we would love to send you the meeting ID. I want to tell you a story. There was a husband and wife and their greatest tasks or, or desires in their lives was to travel the world. And when they did that, they had a major art collection. They were very, very wealthy and they spent their money upon artwork throughout the world. If you went to their home, their living rooms and dining rooms, their hallways and even their guest bedrooms had marvellous and wonderful art pieces hanging on the wall. But sadly at one stage the lady died. The husband was left on his own with his son. He, he lost his, his housemate, his love of his life and his travel mate. And then after some time the son was then drafted to join the war. And sadly during that conflict his son perished. The man was left only with his house, his fortune and his art gallery. Sometime later there was a scruffy man walking towards the house. He had one leg, he had lost sight in one eye, he had a crutch and he went to the front door of the man's house. A man who was now sad and depressed. And whenever he opened the door to this man, he said, Are you so-and-so's father, the man who, who died in the war? He said, Yes, I am. And he goes, Well, your son and I were comrades within the war. We shared the trenches. We fought alongside one another. He was my best friend. He told me of your home and your family. And he told me of your artwork. Well, as a memory of your son, I painted a picture of him and I want you to have it. So the father extended his arms, grabbed the painting, took off the paper and there was a picture of his son. Now, not the most glamorous of paintings, but the father's heart melted. He invited the man in. He went into the the best living room in the home and took down the painting which was above the fireplace and put this very modest painting of the sun there, taking pride of place. Sometime later that man died and all of the artwork was then sent to Sotheby's, the auctioneers, and it was 
broadcasted all over the world that this world famous art collection gathered by this man and his wife in their world travels was for sale and everybody wanted a piece of it. The scruffy friend saw it in a newspaper that rolled past him on the road. So he made his way to Sotheby's on the day of the auction. He went in and sat down and paintings were on display. Then the first item was held up and it was the painting of the sun done by that man. Everybody who gathered were, were laughing and giggling at this very modest and not very impressive painting compared to the countless other pieces of art which was worth thousands and even millions. The auctioneer said, here's a picture of the son of the man who owned this collection. Can I start with a bidding of $50? Anybody $50? There was giggling and laughing. What about 40? 30? 20? 10? 5? And the scruffy man, with tears in his eyes, put up his hand. Five dollars. The auctioneer said, do I have any other bids? I can't. People were rolling their eyes, looking forward to getting to the real artwork. Well, going once. Going twice. Going thirty times. Sold. And then the auctioneer said, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to the auction today. We are now closed. The crowd were confused. They were angry. And somebody shouted out, but what about the rest of the art? To which the auctioneer then pulled out a piece of paper and said, well, this was a stipulation in the will. It was stipulated that all of the artwork was to be auctioned. And the second was this. Whoever takes the sum gets everything. And you know, that is true for the gospel. Our Father in heaven has given us so many things to enjoy. But the greatest thing that he's ever given us is his son, Jesus. A very modest, very plain individual as he came as a human. And when he hung on that cross, he was so unattractive. He would have been an unwelcome picture in the house. But whenever we receive the Son, when we take him, we have everything. We have peace. We have a future. We have a home in heaven. We have the fellowship of believers. We have forgiveness. We have acceptance. We have purpose. Have you received the Son? Have you come to him acknowledging that you have nothing? Those people at the, uh, the auction were wanting to spend hundreds and thousands to buy these paintings. But here the scruffy friend had nothing and he gave all that he had and he got everything. God does not want our money. God does not want our good behaviour. God does not want our church attendance. God does not want any of these things. He wants everything. So that we may have everything. Have you received the sun.